chaparral is a slow-growing shrub and it can grow to a height of three meters the stems are cylindrical the leaves are small dark green and elliptical the flowers are yellow and it has five petals which appear in october to november the fruits are dry capsules which contain hairs and five seeds externally the boiled leaves and the branches were used for bruises as well as rheumatism it was also applied with dry heated leaves and branches as a poultice for chest and other body pain after the resins were obtained for commercial use and as a preservative the leaf residue is fed to livestock it contains as much protein as alfalfa the tea made from chaparral is used for treating bronchitis and the common cold it's used for alleviating stomach pain rheumatic pain snake bite and chicken pox the american indians used it for bowel cramps arthritis chronic skin disorders colds and gas it was used internally for stomach problems premenstrual syndrome kidney and gallbladder stones diabetes upper respiratory tract infections and urinary tract infections it's used as a deodorant for the feet and the armpits in the united states and mexico it was used to treat digestive and gastrointestinal problems a decoction from the leaves and infusions are used for treating upset stomachs and diarrhea the pima tribe applied it to gum orally or chewed and swallowed it for treating gastrointestinal complaints the native americans used the leaves and the twigs for relieving stiffness and pain in the limbs and joints a poultice was applied made from the heated leaves to alleviate the pain from rheumatic diseases the native americans used it for treating pulmonary respiratory and throat problems it was applied externally for lacerations bruises bites dandruff and stings a tea prepared from the leaves was used to treat throat conditions it's used in the form of a tea once it was used as a preservative for oil and food its misuse may result in stomach pain weight loss nausea fever kidney damage and diarrhea it can also cause rashes and itching always consult a doctor before taking this or any other herbal medicine to learn more about herbs, supplements and natural treatment plans, check out my website.